Tang GH, your number one YouTube platform for learning CBT, mental health, or skill, and life in the UK test. If this is your first time, check out other amazing videos made for you concerning the CBT, the OSCE exams, and life in the UK test as well. So the mental health OSCE comprises of um, 10 stations and um, talking therapy is one of the stations that you'll be doing and you'll be given 8 minutes to do this um, task. Now. To give you the overview, you'll be talking to a patient. The person will be an actor or the person will be acting as a patient and you'll be there to listen to the person's um, concerns or whatever they are going through and based on that, you'll recommend um, a type of um, talking therapy and you give a um, reason why you think um, that talking therapy will help um, the patient. So one key thing that you need to know is the types of um, talking therapies so that you can link it to the problem that the patient is um, going through. If you are unable to do this, then I'm sorry, it will be difficult for you to pass um, this station. So first of all, you'll be given um, a PHQ-9, all right? That is a um, patient health um, questionnaire, and this one, it will be pre-filled. The form has been filled already with um, the patient um, taking um, certain um, answers to the questions that are on the form. So when it comes to this station, what you'll be doing is just um, calculate and um, interpret the score to the patient. So the PHQ-9 is um, one tool that um, you'll be using. And of course, you'll be giving your scenario on a sheet of um, paper, then the patient will be there. First thing that you will do right once you have to start is to just enter the scene just like um you'll be doing with all the station that is assessment and everything so you enter the scene you ensure the scene is safe for you to what approach then um you maintain privacy if it's in the patient's home you ask the patient if it's okay to close windows or curtains or the gates to ensure the door to ensure their privacy that is the first thing that um you'll be doing then right after that you do your hand hygiene so you use um gel you verbalize palm to palm palm to palm palm to back or overdose zoom fingers interlace fingers interlock rotational rub of the thumb of the fingertips and the wrist and you leave it to dry for um 30 seconds now don't waste your time waiting for the 30 seconds you can just um proceed once um you've verbalized and you've done your own hand hygiene you greet the patient then um, you introduce yourself that my name is this this i'm the nurse for today introduce yourself and the reason why um, you are there then once you've done that in order to confirm that you are with the right patient you need to do what we call an um, id check so you ask of the name the date of birth the hospital number and the name of their gp if it's in the community um, obviously the date NHS number or maybe their address then if they have a wristband you need to be checking with the wristband and confirming what is on the notes that you've been given so once the patient says all these things you check then you verbalize again all right then you confirm that I says I can confirm I'm with the right patient so this is what goes in with the ID check then you ask them if um, they have any known allergies so once the person say maybe i'm allergic to penicillin then you reassure the patient that i will escalate it to the team then of course you ask them what reaction that um, do they get when they take um, penicillin or whenever they come into contact with what um, they are allergic to and the patient will also um, tell you that so once you've done all these things so far your next step is to um, sit down. So you ask the patient, is it okay to have a seat? They will say yes. Now, the sitting position, you need to consider what we call um, SOLAR. Okay, S-O-L-E-R. So that is a form of um, a sitting position where you would have to um, maintain. So basically what SOLAR is about is um, you need to sit squarely straight like this, as I've seated. You don't have to relax in the chair that will 
created the impression that you are more relaxed and you don't care about what um, conversation that you are coming to have then you don't have to lean forward too much staring at them no you have to maintain eye contact though all right just that you have to sit straight then feel a bit relaxed you don't cross your legs or your arms no once you do that it means you are not maintaining what so like that is um close body language so your body position everything should be open your arms open your legs open you sit straight like this okay then you maintain um eye contact whilst talking to um, the patient so that is the solar what technique so that is what you'll be using throughout all your um, mental health um, station so take note of that one once you are settled it means now you are coming to have a conversation with um, the patient so you can ask a question how are you today how was your night how you've been feeling just to establish um, some kind of what rapport so once you've done that as i said you'll be giving um, a phq9 as you can see on your screen so those PHQ nine questions have been pre-filled. So you just ask the patient, um, Mr. So so and so, okay, um, do you remember visiting your GP or do you remember filling this form when you visited your GP? And they will say um yes. Then you tell them, okay, just give me a couple of minutes so that I can add your scores and give you um interpretation of um of your scores now the phq9 has another aspect of it that is the interpretation so once you calculate there's another page okay where they've um, listed all the scores and their interpretation so if it's a score of 14 what does maybe 14 means so you just re read the interpretation to the patient so you had a phq9 of this which gives a provisional diagnosis of this and the treatment recommendation is what this so that is you being done with the what the phq9 now your next action is to then explore why or what happened for them to even visit the gp so that is where the patient will come out with with the backstory of whatever is going on in their what life so mr susu and so do you remember visiting your gp and filling this form can you please tell me more about this? What happened for you to visit the GP and to fill out this form? And the patient will say, maybe um, I had um, a girlfriend that I was dating and recently we had um, a breakup and that has affected my mental health. That is a story. Or they can say, um, I recently lost my friend through um, road traffic accident and um, I was involved in the accident and it was very horrific. I couldn't bear what I saw. That is another story that I'm just giving. So the patient will tell you this story. Now, whenever a patient tells you that kind of story or a story that is, um, that is a bit sad, okay, you have to demonstrate compassion. You have to be empathetic. And you need to be what kind so whenever they tell you a sad story or a great ordeal that they are going through your first thing is to what demonstrate empathy show compassion and be kind one way you can do it you can say i'm sorry you went through this um, ordeal i can imagine it's a difficult situation for you i'm so sorry you had to go through this so that is you expressing what empathy kindness and what compassion don't do this it's a red flag you will feel then after that you assure them that this is the more reason why i am here to talk to you about what talking therapies okay then you ask the patient do you know anything about talking therapies some might give you slight information others will even go on to say that they've tried some form of talking therapy before but it didn't work work do you get it others will say i don't know anything about it whatever information that you get that is what you build what on so first of all you tell the patient that is the more reason why i am here to talk to you about talking therapies and how we can best help you in this world situation 
So you start by giving the patient what a talking therapy is and its benefit. So these are the words that you can use. Talking therapy is a, it's a therapy where you need to talk to um, a qualified or a specialist that can be a psychologist, a counselor, okay? And um, during these um, sessions, you are given the chance to express your feelings. That is, you can cry, you can shout, and no one will judge you. And um, during these um, sessions, you have the opportunity to see your problems in a much different light. You need to also tell the patient that talking therapies will not necessarily take the problems away. However, you have better ways to what, handle what these problems and add that overall talking therapies will make you feel what better and emphasize the importance that they will be talking to what a stranger and it's best or it is good to talk to what strangers as you will not be what judge rather than talking to relatives or people that you what you might want know so next step is to explain the types okay or forms or various forms of um, talking therapy that they have so these are the types so we have cbt that is cognitive behavioral therapy that is one we have interpersonal therapy we also have mindfulness based talking therapy another one is counseling and lastly psychodynamic um, psychotherapy now these are the types that we have now you have to briefly explain these types and you go back to the patient problem that is the story that they told you which one do you think relates to one aspect of the therapy then you suggest that the patient goes for what that kind of what talking um, therapy so that is what you'll be doing basically in this station and that is very very key for the cbt talking um cognitive behavioral therapy that one helps you to free yourself from um, negative behaviors and um, negative thoughts that is basically um, what CBT does so it helps shape your thought pattern and if there are certain negative behaviors that you would want to what change that is what um, CBT is all about and um, it's it's very helpful for people with depression post-traumatic stress disorders and um, certain kind of um, phobias so that is what um, cbt is all about so for example if someone says um there's no meaning to life now and it's better i end it now these are all kinds of um, behavior negative um, thinking right so we can recommend cbt to this kind of work Person. Interpersonal therapy, as the name goes, interpersonal. So they ha this has to do with um, relationship problems. So relationship with your friends, with your family members, with your partners. Okay. So if um, you have issues concerning relationships, okay, friends, family, children, whatsoever, that is uh, interpersonal what therapy. So this one sometimes patients will say that maybe i've um, i've gone through a breakup and um, I've, I've not been able to bond with my kids maybe my parents didn't look after me or didn't support me in this so there's this kind of rift between me and my parents and that is what is causing me to be depressed so that is interpersonal talking therapy or interpersonal therapy mindfulness based um, talking therapy that one mostly helps you deal with um, stress and um, depression as well and um, that one helps you helps you focus on your thoughts okay as they they happen moment by what moment so that is a uh, mindfulness um, talking um, therapy and sometimes it uses um, the services of um, yoga and maybe um, meditation in that regard so, okay deep breathing exercises and all that so that is Maybe someone is stressed now, they don't know what to do. Mindfulness um, based talking therapy will focus on your thoughts, what you 
feel at certain moments as things happen and how we can use these um, techniques that I mentioned maybe yoga, meditation or maybe um, deep breathing exercises to help um, the situation so that is what uh, mindfulness based talking therapy is another form of um, talking therapy is the um, psycho dynamic um, psychotherapy that, so this one deals with um, past or uh, unresolved uh, conflict in the past okay things that probably happened during your childhood days or earlier stages in life that you didn't even pay attention to but they are causing um, significant um, harm or dangers to you in your current life so maybe you went and stayed with one of your aunties or maybe a family person and they abused you someone raped you when you were a child all these things are unresolved um, conflict or issues that happened in the past but they can have um, significant um, impact on you at the moment then um, lastly we have um, counseling so this one has to do with um, recent um, issues or day to life um, problems that, that causes you to have um, depression as well so maybe you've lo lost a loved one recently um, maybe um, you failed your exams that is, these are recent or current issues or maybe you are you don't know career choices to make all these things can be resolved during um, counseling talking therapy um, sessions now when you are done with um, these um, explanations right then you link it to the problem so assuming the person told you that um, I've lost someone recently and I cannot um, battle with the loss then you say that based on the story that you've told me counseling will be the best form of um, talking therapy to what to go for because counseling deals with what recent issues and day-to-day um, -day life um, struggles that you might be going through which um, bereavement is one of um, them then you can go on to ask um, the patient if um, they would want to go on um, with uh, a referral so that you make um, a referral to see a, a, a psychologist or maybe a counselor then you can ask the patient if they have um, any questions some might ask you what if um, the counseling does not work or probably they've done counseling before and it didn't work then you can go on to suggest another one which you think will be of um, greater um, help so you can say that if the counseling does not work all right you can go on to try probably cognitive behavioral world therapy then um, also tell them how the sessions are going to be just tell them it can be face to face it can be on phone and um, a session can last averagely 30 minutes to one hour and the number of times that they can go depends on um, how well they are doing on the session and um, what happens between them and the therapist and averagely is between um, 15 to 30 um, sessions so you can add um, that one then you ask them again if you have um, they have any questions if they have you listen to the question then you answer it um, appropriately if not then you thank them for their time and um, tell them that you make the referral and get back to them when you are done with this you just recap whatever you've discussed that maybe i came here i listened to your concern concerns and um, you told me you were going through this that is why you became what depressed i discussed your phq9 with you and i had a score of this and the treatment recommendation and the provisional diagnosis is what this based on these things i recommended this sort of talking therapy which you've agreed and i will make a referral and get back to you that is it and you are done with um, um talking therapy after that you just perform your hand hygiene and that is it you'll be passed thank you for joining today and um kindly subscribe and um, share with your friends who are also writing um this um
Oski is um as a mental health nurses. And um mind you you need more of practice, okay? Uh you might learn but before you become perfect you need to practice no spontaneous questions and how you can answer them instantly and um, how you can link um what the patient tells you because on that test date you will not be aware what the patient will be saying okay so you have to be practicing more to know scenarios and contests where the patient will bring their stories and um, you know how to um, answer them and link them to that sort of um, talking therapy Th thanks for joining and um, if you want one-on-one -on -one tuition for the mental health or skill, you can send me a message and um, we can work on that one as well share the video with your colleagues who will be writing their exams and um, um, I wish you all the best in whatever you are doing and uh, I hope this video helps you thank you